out here on Brower Road, Lima Baptist Temple, one of the most established congregations in Lima with Pastor Al Elmore. Glad to have you here. Thank you. A lot going on. This is a big church that's always been busy, but it's the way you're talking right now, it may be as busy as it's ever been. <laughs> yeah, it really has been. Uh, we've been very busy. Uh, it's been very challenging, but it's been very rewarding. Mm -hmm. It's making us be more creative. Uh, you know, but we hand out a lot of meals. Uh, we, 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 we're delivering cookies to our congregation, mm -hmm. but we're all about the community. And, uh, you know, down here yeah. we have the school. Mm -hmm. and yeah, you've got doing, a meal handout going on That's right, right now. the Lotta School District, and we're part of that. And so every Monday and Wednesday, they're handing out breakfast and lunch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the congregation itself, you've always had services taped and, and, right. and re aired with a whip one right. delay, but now you're doing a lot of stuff on Facebook, yes. a lot of live streams. Yeah, but what we actually do, we, uh, we have a Facebook live stream and YouTube. We do that live at 11 o'clock here in the mm -hmm. auditorium, of course, just with our tech crew, you know, and our yeah. staff. And, uh, and then we, we broadcast that. And then on uh, Mondays and Wednesdays, our children's director does something at 3 p.m. Okay. online. Tuesday nights, I have a Bible study. Tuesday morning, senior adult does a Bible study. Wednesday night, youth student pastor does a Bible study. Thursday night, me and my wife do yeah. something together. You know, when you, we think about that, people are being quarantined. There may be more people viewing those Bible studies and seeing church than they, they there would are. normally have gone. There to really those are. Meetings. For example, if say we average 600, we're probably averaging at least seven, eight hundred mm -hmm. watching. Uh, you know, there's, if you use three to four per family and you're hitting two to three hundred yeah. hits per week, but yeah, it's been incredible. What do you see on, when we talk about uh, this quarantine and not, nobody knows when it's going to be over? Right. What do you see coming out the other side of that with the body of Christ? Well, I go back to 9/11. And mm -hmm. I remember that, uh, and you know, in church attendance really spiked for the first several weeks or two or three months. Mm -hmm. And then as you know, then it starts Terrible. going down. I've always said, if God needs to send a crisis, rest assured, he knows how to send a crisis. Mm -hmm. And I do believe this is a wake up call. Mm -hmm. And I do believe that we may not know even to August who all will be coming back to church. Mm -hmm. But I do believe in the long run, we're gonna have an incredible fall. And I do think uh, it's gonna be better than ever. I really mm -hmm. believe that. What, what's the attitude right now of your congregation when you speak to members of the congregation? Is there, is there a lot of fear? Is there a lot of just trepidation or an unknown? Or? Uh, depending on who you talk to, mm -hmm. there, there is fear. But uh, the thing, I think they, they do respect. I made the call not to do this. Uh, our last Sunday here was uh, March 8th, and I'm okay. so glad mm -hmm. because, you know, out of pride, I wanted to say, yeah, I want to do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sure. Kind of like Peter, you know? Mm -hmm. And then Keep I wanted to say fear of disapproval, you know? I, you know, it, we had that. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, uh, short-term pleasure for maybe some long-term pain. So I'm glad we didn't go that way and they respect that. Mm -hmm. but, but the congregation, it's, it's drawn them, uh, it's, it's let them understand technology yeah. in a way they never have. Yeah.